Yeah, I mean, I sort of think of there being kind of two different big questions here. One is, like, what is their intent? Why are they trying to do this? What do they think they can learn from linking these things to each other? And then, you know, the the second question is more this logistical question uh, that your listener was getting at, which is like, you know, is it is it even possible to connect these things to each other? How would you go about doing that? And if you were to link these things from each other and then use those linkages to make decisions about benefits and public policy, you know, if I were, for example, to say um, you have uh, applied for uh, housing assistance, but I'm pretty sure uh, at this other database that your income is too high to qualify for it, therefore I'm going to reject you, reject your application for housing assistance, you know, if they're going to use it to make uh, actual decisions that affect people's lives, uh, how would that work and what would the consequences of that be? And uh, uh, a favorite example I love is like, you know, there is not one definition of what is a family across government data systems. Uh, and so, you know, if, if the unit that I'm looking at is a family, like, does that include your, uh, parents who live with you? Does it include the income and assets of everybody in your household? Uh, what about your, uh, 19 year old child who's no longer technically a dependent, but still lives with you? Um, and so even if you solve the technology, uh, if you try to match these variables, uh, you're going to run into problems. And if you try to make decisions off of having matched those variables, you are going to uh, create problems in the real world, like not database problems, but like problems for families who are enrolled in programs. Uh- 